Catherine, what was your opinion of Steve Jobs before making the film and has it changed since? Um, it's changed since, and uh, yes, because, well, hey, hey, let's try that again. I didn't know anything about Steve Jobs before we started shooting. You know, I, I, I didn't know anything. I, I had an image of him, um, and obviously I knew what he built. Um, uh, and uh, now I know everything. Have you seen the film? Yeah. So I know all those things now. And I, obviously I read the Isaacson book and I read Chris Ann Brennan's book and so I, I know what's in those things. Okay. And what was it like to play the part of a woman who was so dependent on Steve Jobs, on the, the father of her daughter? Um, it wasn't a, uh, I wouldn't, it wasn't a particular challenge. I mean, you always have an incredible responsibility to try to find the truth in the scene or whatever, you know. Um, and uh, it certainly was a challenge um, written into the script. Um, uh, her to, for her to try to get through to him. That was basically um, the primary thing I was trying to do: is get his attention. And and but it wasn't it wasn't just about money. Um, I really think that Chris Ann was fighting to get him to engage with his child. Um, and and I think that that was what was really most heartbreaking about it for her, for for Chris Ann the character, as written by Aaron Sorkin, is that she. Um, She's looking at this man who she knew since she was in high school, her first love, ignoring their child, you know. I mean, you ask any mother if anyone does anything remotely harmful to their child, it, it, it hurts almost on a physical level, do you know what I mean? And, 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 and to see that from the, from the father of the child, I, I think was extraordinarily painful. Do you think he's portrayed more as a hero or as a dictator? I like the question the movie asks, and I like to think about the question. I don't have an answer. No, I'm kind of still living in the question on that one.